take the diagram carefully and answer the questions that follow. It says, state what happens in the test tube. Sodium chloride dissolves in the water. Sodium chloride is actually salt, normal salt that you know. So the I is saying describe the behavior of sodium chloride in the diagram above. The behavior is sodium chloride is soluble in water. Or sodium chloride dissolves in water. And then an I, I, I. It says, in what two ways will you increase the rate of the process? So the rate of the dissolving, one, you can stir with the stirring rod. You can also heat by increasing the kinetic energy of the particles that make up the sodium chloride. Then you can also break down the sodium chloride into smaller particles by grinding. Then the ivy. It says, if more and more sodium chloride is added, what finally occurs? Okay, so you actually form a saturated solution. So the sodium chloride will no more dissolve. Then the last question. It says, describe how you would separate the components in a setup. Simply by evaporation or by heating the solution. Once the solution is heated, water is separated from the mixture in the form of vapor, leaving the sodium chloride crystals behind. So to the next one, it says, below is a diagram of a vegetable crop. Study the diagram carefully and answer the questions that follow. So I, identify the crop shown above and the class it belongs to. So, the name of the crop is beans or cowpea. <laughs> then the next one is the class. The class is legumes or is a leguminous crop. Then the next question is describe how the vegetable crop above is cultivated. It is cultivated by um, sowing of the seed. Then the next one is give three reasons why the crop above is important to farm soil it's important to farm soil because it adds nitrogen to the soil it also controls soil erosion it improves the soil structure and it also helps to retain soil water content what are three nutritional benefits of the crop above cowpea gives protein it also has fiber, it also has iron and a magnesium. We have our next question here. Below is a setup showing two bar magnets placed close to each other. State the diagram carefully and answer the questions that follow. So we have two bar magnets here, this and then that. So we have the south and the north, north and the south. So we have north facing north. And we have questions that follow. What magnetic force would exist between the pairs of magnets? So the force that will exist is actually a repulsive force. We all know it's magnetic force, yes, but it's a repulsive force under the magnetism. And the I, I explain why the magnetic force mentioned in one C I will exist. This is simply because the poles are like poles and they repel each other when brought together. Then the III, what is the name of the point X between the two magnets? Now before I answer this question, this north and north, it also means when south and south is also brought close, there will be a repulsive force. So when it's north and south, that's what attractive force. Then the III, is this, what's the name of the point X? That point is called neutral point then the IV what is the magnetic field the magnetic field is an area around a magnet where magnetic force or magnetic influence can be felt now the last part of these practical questions this is a diagram demonstrates two important 
cycles in life. Take the diagrams carefully and answer the questions that follow. So, it says identify the cycles shown A and B. Now, you need to really think through before you can identify. Let's pollination, let's see germination. Then let's look at the B. The B, we have plants, consumption animals, fossil fuel industry. Then we have carbon dioxide on top here. Okay, we can see that these two processes are not close to each other in terms of the name. It has something to do with the maturation of a plant. So let's just go through. The I is maturation. Because right after the seed germinates, it matures. Then pollination takes place. I, I. Once pollination takes place, the answer to the stigma is fertilization that follows. From fertilization, what happens? The ovo and the ovary develops. So we have what? The seed and then the fruit maturation. Seed of fruit maturation. When the seed of fruit matures, what happens next? Can you guess it? There's the special of seed and fruit. So this occurs in a cycle. The B. Okay, so A is actually the life cycle of a flowering plant. And B is carbon cycle. I is asking us to identify the stages labeled I, 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 and I in A. So I is maturation. I, I is fertilization. I, I, I is seed or fruit formation. Then I, I is dispersal of fruits and seeds. Then question I, I, I is asking us to describe what occurs at each of the stages labeled I, 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 I and I, I. So at the maturation, that's the growth stage. So at the maturation, that's the growth stage. That's where you begin to see the leaves becoming more visible and larger in the roots penetrating deep down into the soil. The I, I which is fertilization. At the fertilization stage, where the fusion of the male gamete and then a few male gamete in the pollen tube or case. Then the I, 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 which is the seed or fruit formation. It's the stage at which the ovules develop into the seed and the ovaries develop into the fruits. And the ivy, which is the special of fruits and seed. At this stage, you know, there are several agents of fruit and seed expression, which helps to move the fruit or seed to a new location away from the parent plants. Then the B, which is the carbon cycle. So we'll start with V. If carbon is coming to plants, actually photosynthesis is going to take place. And if there's something leaving the plant to the atmosphere, which is very high, plants also undergo respiration. So carbon dioxide will leave the plant into the atmosphere. So that's respiration. So V is photosynthesis. V I is respiration. And then for animals also, carbon dioxide leaving them. That's also respiration. And then the V I I. If animals are turning to fossil fuel, according to the carbon cycle, that's decomposition. Then the V is asking still two ways of maintaining the cycle B. So the way to maintain cycle B is to plant more trees and then avoid burning of bushes. Click on the image by my channel name to see more videos that I make.